let's get into the LTNC shareholder meeting notes. Again, I have so many. And if you have guys have any questions, just drop it into the chat and then we'll, we'll go over them. Uh, but so I'm just going to go down a list and I will talk about a couple of these notes. Again, I was a uh, host. I was like doing the questions and hosting it so people could uh, ask questions to management and whatnot. So I wasn't really able to um, absorb all the info per se initially. So I had to go back, rewatch and really get into the nitty gritty of what I heard. Um, so this is some of the things I've heard. OTC thought we were being promoted from Stan, Shar, whatnot, delisted us to protect retail investors. That's what they told management. Ryan Shadell was invited to reapply, but no evidence of uh, reapplying. Um, well, what I think what it was, he did everything on his end, but Jason and whoever else was involved, that management at the time, Jason, um, Toby, they didn't do their end on applying to get pink. They were stalling. And once that window was up, we had to restart the whole process. So when you really think about it, Jason uh, uh, Tucker really screwed us over and what we were able to do. And this is why we're at right now. And we have to wait to January uh, 1st, 2024 uh, to reapply to get back in, on the good side with uh, OTC and getting pink. The spin out was an escape route. And that was the initial thinking because they didn't really know if they were ever going to get pink again or how long it would take. And so the spin out was always just an escape route. Um, if they weren't able uh, now, we, we firmly believe we were able to get pink now. But if that wasn't the case, the spin out would have saved, uh, you know, locked in the company uh, moving forward um, from the shell. Uh, we need two years of audited financials. so. We'll have that after this year. We'll have, uh, well, we have 2021 already done. We we're almost finished with 2022. And so when we have those two years of audit of financials going in 2024, we'll be good to go. Um, the 2021 audited financials were shown at the meeting. I was shown that. I put that on the screen a little bit so everybody could take a look. Um, so, you know, that's not a myth. Gold was uh, the Discord medium for a long time, but now they're switching things over a little bit. They're not going to be as active in discords in, uh, in, on Twitter as much to make sure they're doing everything possible as a, a proper business to make sure we can become tradable again. Um, December 25th was the first communications of Tom Zaro talking with shareholders on Christmas 2022. That's when he first started uh, talking to us. January 23rd, 2023 was a proof of payment to the SEC attorney and auditor that was building trust that they were going to audit the financials. Now, we saw the audits, but we never actually saw the financials. Obviously, they're not going to look as good because there was a lot of uh, uh, money laundering, funneling from past management. So I don't think we're ever going to see 2021 or 2022's financials, but hopefully we can see 2023's. Uh, February 16th, Hodges and Water came back. Later that February, N Nevada attorney uh, got, got hit with another lawsuit. February 24th, Manny Pacquiao Foundation came back with settlement agreement because they were in a lawsuit for a while. March 10th, uh, uh, we did miss, dismissed the lawsuits uh, with colleague Mike Holly, So that's cleared up. PFL relationship was saved. We're still on the mat new logo, and, and, you know, it's a good relationship from what I've heard. April 21st, the first uh, official day of for Tom Zaro as interim CEO. Uh, April 26th, next level fitness water lawsuit was dis dismissed and settled. So uh, April 26th, that's when, uh, you know, we settled the lawsuit and we had to switch the name over. Um, it was a melancholy uh, day for me. I really like the name Next Level, but I also like a uh, locked-in name as well. Um, May 31st, brand new locked-in was formed. Uh, June 1st, finishing 2021 audit report. June 1st, again, web's new website launch. Shout out to Locked In Jack for the uh, new website. It was great. I like it. A lot really interactive. Early June, the Figueroa family came into the locked-in brand. 
continuous spaces uh, locked in the app. We've been doing spaces um, for quite a while now. Um, you know, I just got to say, you know, Tom did at the meeting say, you know, they hosted the very first spaces this specific day. But real ones realized I was the first one to have the first two spaces. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, Figaro family locked in flavor nootropics. July hired uh, Pacquiao Ventures marketing team. So the marketing team has been, uh, Pacquiao's marketing team has been taken over. Uh, now, I know he's tweeted about locked in a couple of times. I haven't been paying attention on Facebook ads. I don't know what they're doing. They they're said they're spending quite a bit of money on the ads, so hopefully it's paying off. We have high ticket items, so one purchase of locked in hydrogen water could pay off a day's worth of ads. So hopefully we're, we're, we're getting along that line. Uh, September 15th, we have locked in kids. Um, you know, I guess we're going to be sponsors for the pickball championships. Um, September 26th, Manny Pac, uh, Pacquiao Pineapple Coconut Nootropic. I do plan on getting some of this soon. I want to try it out. There's a lot of good reviews. Um, I'm hearing a lot of good things about it. Um, we got uh, the uh, October 12th, Manny VIP program. October 14th, customer service uh, position opened up. I think Chuck Dager is now uh, that position. According to Tom, you know, he's a titan of industry. Um, I'm sure he's doing a really good job uh, thus far. The October 25th was the first annual LTNC uh, shareholder meeting. I was in the presence. There was a video out there. Go make sure to rewatch that if you have not. Uh, at the 14 minute and uh, 45, uh, the 14 minute and 45 second mark, that's where the meat, real meat of the uh, the stream starts. They talk in a, they they talk about the real deal business aspects of things. Um, you know, we're, we were there to vote on the board of directors, which all went through. So we have uh, Manny on, we have Tom Fitzgerald on, we have uh, Luis on now. Um, so we have our board of directors on. Background checks uh, were needed for all officers. Um, and the reason why we need to do this is because OTCM doesn't like control changes after applying. They like to see who's in power what's the structure like, and what's the path moving forward. Um, they don't want to be bamboozled either. Um, so it's very important that we have our, our ducks uh, in a row. Uh, the first step was to apply for OTC access and get trading. That's the first step. So, you know, that's Jan 2024. Um, submit prepared financial statements from 2022 to 2023. Um, and at the 16-minute and 11-second mark, uh, uh, the second order to business for the board of directors is to replace Tom as CEO. Um, you know, they've already been doing interviews. They've been inquiring. Um, we haven't found that guy yet, but they're in that search now. And the caveat to this, even though we are looking to replace Tom, we'll be able to uh, elect him back to the board of directors, which I think, you know, he's a shoe in for. I think ultimately he does have the voice of the shareholders. So no matter who the CEO is and whoever takes over uh, the, the power uh, struggle in that case, at least Tom will uh, be the voice for shareholders in that uh, next phase for the company. I told you there's a lot. So that was just the first page. I have another two pages. I have three full slides in general of, uh, of, 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 of pages of notes. Um, real quick, if anybody wants to hop in to talk, um, I do have a link for this. I'll drop this in the, the chat right now. Um, if you want to join the Google Meet link, it is right here for anybody to join if they want to talk to me personally. Um, so now we got the second slide. Again, this is a long, a long ordeal. So the second slide of shareholder notes. Interviews have begun and search has started. Talked about that. Spin out, spin out or pink are pathways to tra uh, tradability. So we have two pathways now. I think we're going to be able to get tradable, LTNC tradable without the spin out. The spin out might be good for other uses in the future. Um, but all our money, all shareholders money is in LTNC. And so the, the, the easiest way to keep that capital and build off that capital is best. because. For the spin out, 
we would still have all our capital LTNC, even though we would get like free money from uh, the spin out for locked in. But a lot of dilution would have to occur. A lot of things would have to happen. And it'd be a lot longer for us to see any uh, uh, ROI on our investments. It's already been long enough. And at the 18 minute and five second mark, that's when the questions start. That's when the questions start coming in. So around 20 minutes of my video, you can uh, start seeing the questions. Um, the 2022, 2023, but they're unaudited. Um, that's a little bit different than aud uh, being audited. LTNC is not a show. Tom actually talks about this a lot because I brought up the question uh, or brought out the statement that LTNC was a shell. He's saying there's a real business behind it. So it's not a shell. It's not a fraud. We have actual assets behind it, which is which is nice to hear from your CEO. Um, I asked him, can tech, Tucker uh, affect future moves outside of selling his shares? Tom assured us that he cannot, you know, outside of him wanting to sell his big block of shares. He really can't affect any moves going forward. He's not on the board of directors. No real decision-making power at this point in time. Tom wants to reiterate again that Ryan did his part in the equation trying to get us pink. I met Ryan in person. Really good dude. Um, he was very transparent. He was open and honest at how he felt about things. Um, you know, he's very optimistic, I would say, now that uh, things are going to happen, but it's just going to take a while. Um, According to Tom, he was saying if OTCM doesn't like plan A, which is getting LTNC pink, plan B is the spin out of locked in. Now, plan C is buying a new ticker and dividending shareholders in. According to Tom, that's the very last worst case scenario, and he doesn't even like that. And I agree. If we have to buy a new ticker, more money, and we have to get uh, uh, dividend shares in, that's almost just like the spin out. Where we still have all our money locked in, in uh, uh, locked in in LTNC, so Plan A is by and far the best option for us. Um, the uh, at the October mark, uh, this is what they were saying: new lawsuits came up, audit was taking longer, previous management had all accounting in the Philippines. Um, you know, now we have American accounting. So these are some of the challenges we were dealing with. For some reason, our accounting was in the Philippines and not on American soil. And there's just always lawsuits popping up. Um, auditor had everything for 2022 by Friday of uh, 10, 27, 23. That's what he was saying after the meeting. So at the end of the week, uh, the auditor is going to have everything for 2022 to get that process going. Tom keeps reiterating that this is a shareholder friendly agenda. Going forward, we're going to be doing everything uh, at the benefit to the shareholders' equity. Pink is up to OTCM. Management is ready to submit when that time is the, uh, to come. Tom is pulling back from social media till trading. Uh, DTC immediate goal. Uh, oh, yeah. So uh, direct to consumer. Immediate goal is to uh, sell regionally. They only have a uh, like two stores they're going to be selling in right now. Um, a couple store placing orders, a pallets, one gym, one store, hiring a person to get locked in and convene stores, uh, fractional service. Luis lives in Switzerland. Tom and Tom Jr. are in Florida. No new athletes in focus right now. Once trading, athletes will be focused in focus. Not using Headhunter for CEO. Regular job postings will be a thing for the CEO position. Uh, meeting was booked with uh, at company expenses, so it was a business expense. Mike uh, drove from Arizona, so that was on his own dime. Tom already lives in Las Vegas, so he didn't really have to spend anything. Um, so they're not using uh, company expenses for extracurriculars. You no, know, they're str strictly staying to the business. Nothing was cha has changed in lawsuits that have already been uh, pending. Uh, settlements, profits, trading. That's what Tom likes to uh, keep reiterating. James uh, James DiPaleppo, he has an offer on his table. At this point, he's already had that offer. One one item need, uh, needed uh, to be finished to start paying him. So hopefully at this point, that item has been cleared up. This is a month ago. He had this offer about a month ago, and there was only one thing holding up 
for him to start getting his payments of like two million. Um, it's going to be a long while before we pay him off. Uh, but if we have that agreement in place, we're at least in the right uh, direction. Arizona case with Tucker stalled, zero communication with him. We'll see where that goes. Um, that might just be a lost cause. But again, he has no real uh, controlling power over uh, over uh, operations moving forward outside of him wanting to sell his shares. We can't control that. I'm pretty sure if things are right in line and stuff, those shares will get eaten up quite fast. But maybe in his case, he might want to keep those on the low because he he, he might see uh, you know exponential growth, even though he might hate us all. I don't like him either. Uh, interviews with potential CEOs thinks uh, uh, the interviews with potential CEOs, they all have thought that the cost of goods can drop. And that's where the opportunity is. Um, if we can lower the cost of goods, that's where we can start getting our margins higher. All right. Um, and that's going to come down to getting more scale. Lowering alkaline water costs, maybe lower uh, smaller bottles. That's a thing. Amazon going live. At this point, there's a couple more products on Amazon for the website. T-Pain is still a shader, uh, shareholder, but he's not in the plans moving forward. So, um, you know, he just has, last time I checked, like 50,000 shares. Some, it's super small amount. He doesn't have a whole lot. It might be like 5 million. Um, I might be uh, saying that wrong. Immediate goal is to build the business. New CEO will have the power to focus on buyout or building a business. That's going to be up to him. We have 49,000 shareholders, almost 50,000 shareholders. That's crazy. Right now, we have about thirty dollars to $50,000 in monthly sales. It's weak, but marketing's just started. And even at the uh, meeting, there was debate between Tom and Holly on how they felt about shares. Given our circumstances, um, you know, thirty dollars to 50000 a month, I was kind of surprised at that. But I know in the grand scheme of things to where we want to go, we need those to be a lot higher. We're treading water right now. We're surviving, but that we can only survive for so long. We have to, you know, get on top of that. You know, inflation is crazy. If we're not growing, we're dying. Uh, companies spending $250 a day on Meta Facebook ads. So actually, you know, if we're spending $250 a day, we're going to have to sell at least 10 cases of uh, next level level hydrogen water to keep that pace on Facebook ads. I would like to know the update on that. Is that working? Is that the way to go? I work with Facebook ads a little bit. I understand how they go. Sometimes they can be a little bit more expensive if you don't know what you're doing because they have to search for the right people. Um, developing a product that would be more cost effective to ship. They're always trying to develop a product that'd be more cost effective to ship. I understand that. I'm of the uh, opinion that we need to just focus on what we got now. How can we, we have seller products already. How can we lower the cost of good, uh, the, the cost of operations on our current products? All right. That's what we need to work on. Um, we want to be a data-driven company. No front runner pro product in the company right now. All of them are selling about at the same rate. All hydrogen waters come from Danny. That's not changing. Tom's pretty adamant on that. He says he's he. There's no plans on switching Danny. Like anybody who believes that Danny can't get the job done, he's too expensive. It doesn't matter. They're going to be sticking with him. Um, I've said before that you know if Danny's too expensive, maybe we need to figure out another pathway. But they they feel like if we can just get uh this the scale up, the costs will go down. So if anyone wants to debate on if Danny's going anywhere, where's Danny? He's here. He's here to stay. Um, so the last, so this is the last slide of uh, LTNC shareholders notes for my LTNC uh, lockheads who have tapped, who have tapped in. Um, ask Joe, you can ask Joe questions on the app for one. Um, and so just go on the app so you can ask him questions. He'll answer. Uh, filling warehouses to ship out products all at once. That's been a goal. We just have to fill the coffers up. No toxic lending debt moving forward, which is great to hear. That's awesome to hear. Um, multiple facilities in USA that converge into that. There's multiple facilities in USA that converge into Georgia for shipping locked in product. So essentially, we, 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 we have multiple facilities where our products are coming from. But our main base is still Georgia, 
with Danny. At the there's an ad real quick. Hold up. All right. Um, they this at the 50 minute mark and 50 minute and 30 second mark. Luis starts talking. Tom Fitzgerald start talking at 51 minutes. Uh, Tom says we are uh, we uh, we are the most exciting. Uh, oh, Tom Fitzgerald is saying that we are the most exciting. He's been a part of. Uh, Fitzgerald is saying this, this has high potential. At the 53 minute mark, John Sasson comes on, said Manny and his team is looking to make this a global brand. And shareholders, uh, who is a uh, uh, shareholder, is a business owner, is willing to. Oh yes. So Tom brings up an important point. There is a shareholder uh, who has a, a distribution business that is willing to do the Canada di distribution for shareholders because right now there's a lot of uh, Canadian followers who would like to buy a lot more product, but uh, due to the tariffs in the in the taxes and stuff, it just doesn't make economical sense. So hopefully they actually got figure that out. I remember at the meeting said that Tom has not reached back out to that. Uh, Pacific person during that meeting because they were hoping to have a CEO deal with that. But at this point, since we don't have a new CEO, hopefully Tom has, has talked to that uh, person to get that distribution going. We need those Canadian cells. That's where the growth is. So if he can come in and get that, that's international growth right there. Uh, for those who know, Hattie is the gaming person. If you've been around the discords, Hattie, he's been around a long time. Uh, he's focusing on the gaming aspect. So if that's your thing, you need to go to him. Soda cans are coming for the hydrogen water. So hopefully next time I buy, um, and I did get that Black Friday sale. I bought a couple of those cards at a 25% discount. Um, and so hopefully we'll be seeing those soda cans and see what they look like. The nootropics are going to be staying in the slim can. Um, I, I actually like that move. I actually like the slim cans. If, 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 if we can keep them dent free, that's the thing. Slim cans are great if they're dentless. All right. So um, we'll see how that plays out. Tom has consistently said there's no foreseeable roadblocks for OTCM when submitting January 2024. When it comes to submitting January, we should be good to go. It's going to be in OTCM's hands. No one, Jason, applied with the uh, which delayed the process. We've talked about that. Kids want to drink Prime, so that's our competition. They don't even care if it's good for them or not. They just see the, the Paul brothers on something and they want it. Uh, Danny has to be relicensed to, to produce kids' product, so we're working on that. And Danny is footing the relicensing cost, which is great because we don't have a whole lot of me, a lot of money to uh, to expend moving forward until we start getting our sales up. Um, so Danny footing that bill, great on us. We still have the highest PPM of hydrogen water in industry. Quad C is the differentiator, and that's how we start building up our moat. Other hydrogen water products, they don't have the, the Quad C, the uh, Clodial metals like we have that J Joe has uh, formulated, and they can't get the, the PPM, the 3 PPM like Danny can get. So that's how you can build out your moat. Maybe in the future, when other companies start doing their proprietary processes, they can get their PPM up. They're sitting at like one, one and a half. But, you know, Danny has kept that secret close to uh, close to his hip. So it's going to be a while. And that gives us a, a, a nice little edge. It helps dementia. Arnold Schwarzenegger event will have Wyatt and Joe there. That's next year. At will contract with Danny. There's no real contract. We whatever we sell on our website, he produces. So uh, that's essentially our contract. There's no binding agreements out of that. He's just our producer. Um, you know, he's not beholden to us or anything like that. Tom doesn't want to tell us manufacturer for other products. He's keeping that close to the chest. Private, 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 privatization, privatization, not in plans, but all options on the uh, table to make money. The goal is to make money. So if there's money in the uh, get going private, will do so. Right now, that's not in the plans. Manny loves drinking the water in his relaxed time, loves the products. One of our manufacturers is getting certified for us to sell into the college market. NFS certification, that's big time. Celsius is banned from NCAA. 
That's important. And this is where the Coke situation comes in as well, because Coke is the sponsor of the NCAA. So they have all the leverage and they get benefit if Celsius is banned from the NCAA because that's a Pepsi product. And so that's where we come in, right? We don't have caffeine or any of those extra uh, uh, additives in these energy drinks and whatnot. We, we're just water with hydrogen, all right? And so we won't be banned from the NCAA. And so that's why if we get bought out by Coke, it's just seamless. And we're in the college market as well. And that's what I see vision-wise. The best margins come from the alkaline water and the PR firm to announce board member passing. We've already had that PR. It came out a little bit later than what it stated, but it's okay. Um, so those are the three slides of shareholder meeting notes I have. Let me check. So Russell, is I know what they said at the meeting about three. Yeah, yeah, around 25. Yeah, they were kind of uh, so-so on it. I don't think they really wanted to give us the real numbers um, due to people freaking out. Um, Russell said, I haven't seen any advertising on Facebook or any influencers with the managing team or products. Yeah, I, that's something that we got to talk about as well. Um, I, I need to see more from the marketing team, Manny. Are they getting paid? Are they doing it for free? All things to uh, think about. So those are what I got for the shareholder meeting, the three slides. So if you're a lockhead, um, you love LTNC, you're looking at investing, you know, make sure you stay uh, tuned for what's going on. Um, January 2024, things can start changing for the better for us very soon. Uh, but make sure you rewatch the, uh, the, the, the shareholder meeting to pick up the little nuggets of notes.